Well, the 60th annual Grammy Awards wrapped up overnight with two performers taking home the majority of the most coveted trophies. The night, though, was not all about who won, as many chose to use the night to bring awareness to the Me Too movement, among other topics. Hannah Doba has more. The Grammys were as much about the actual awards as they were about social and political issues. On the awards front, there was no bigger winner than Bruno Mars. He won all six awards he was up for, including Song of the Year, Record of the Year, and Album of the Year for 24 Karat Magic. Those songs were written with nothing but joy. Kendrick Lamar wasn't far behind with five wins. And Alessia Cara, who won Best New Artist, was among those wearing a white rose to raise awareness for the Me Too and Time's Up movements. For me, it just means speaking up for not only women in the entertainment industry, of course, that you know are treated unequally, but just women who don't have a voice. Activism took center stage most of the night. I hope you find your peace. Kesha, backed up by several top female artists, dedicated a moving rendition of her hit Praying to women who are survivors of assault. U2 taped a pro-immigration performance in front of the Statue of Liberty. They were introduced by Cuban-American singer Camila Cabello. This country was built by dreamers, for dreamers, chasing the American dream. And a country music quartet performed Eric Clapton's Tears in Heaven in honor of those killed in two attacks on musical events last year. The shooting at a Las Vegas music festival and the bombing at an Ariana Grande concert in Manchester, England. Hanadoba, CBS News.